You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic. You're a star. Overpopulated cities around the world have caused people to become a greedy, selfish, and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say I am fantastic. It will make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic. I met Dr. Fantastic along life's way. And I heard him say, You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic. You're a star. Good morning, everyone. It's March 18th. Dr. Fantastic here with more good news. I'd like to report good news. As I told you before, I'm getting reports from all over the world from uh, people that are following the Be Fantastic movement, which I encourage you to do. And this says Australia Lab may have found COVID-19 cure. It's always good to hear something like that. Sydney, Australian researchers have been given the green light to start human trials of a promising drug treatment for the no novel coronavirus after raising funds from donors in a remarkable global appeal. COVID-19 patients will, will be given two drugs previously used to treat AIDS and malaria at about 50 hospitals in Australia, with tests expected to start by the end of this month. The drugs reportedly eradicated the virus in lab tests. That's good stuff. There have already been patients treated with these in Australia, and they've been successful. But it hasn't been done in a controlled or comparative way said David Patterson, director of the Center for Clinical Research at Queensland's University, which is leading the trials. What we want to do at the moment is a large clinical trial across Australia, looking at 50 hospitals, and what we're going to compare is one drug versus another drug versus the combination of the two drugs. Stanford University School of Medicine reported on Friday that a former malaria treatment known as chloroquine, I guess, chloroquine maybe, may be effective in treating the disease in China and Singapore. There is also anecdotal evidence that the reluctant, redundant AIDS drug remdesivir may have worked in treating patients in China, the initial epicenter of the, new, the now global pandemic. Trial data of the drugs used, however, has not been made available by China. Scientists have dismissed a widely quoted online report that about 12,000 patients have been completely cured of COVID-19 in China after taking chloroquine. Peterson said laboratory tests using a combination of the two drugs had indicated that they might provide a cure from the virus. By the way, if you're um, just not feeling too well right now, heat is the answer because the flu doesn't uh, work in uh, the summer. It comes out in the winter because our nasal is cold. I did a whole um, video on it the other day. You should watch it. Heat, put some heat up there. It's a potentially effective treatment. Patients would end up with no viable coronavirus in their system at all after the end of the therapy, he said. The March 18th decision to go ahead with the human tests was only made after the researchers made an extraordinary global appeal for donations to cover the funding cost, estimated at about $451,000. It's great. People are caring about this, of course. There is an urgent push to develop effective COVID-19 treatments because a vaccine for widespread use is not expected to be developed for at least 18 months. While it comes to mind, I had, on my radio show, I had Fred Eichhorn, who's literally saved people's lives. Right now, he's having a tough time uh, restocking uh, the, um, the mineral um, um, product that he has. Because if you keep your mineral balance in check, you won't get anything. No, fle no f flus, no diseases, no cancers, nothing. And so I asked him, well, why don't you go back to the patients? Because he's, he's saved lives, literally, uh, brain cancer, major celebrities, and he named them all. And I said, why don't, these are rich people. Why don't you call and uh, see if they can help you with you know, the money you need? And he said, no. I said, you saved their life? And they're saying no? I mean, what is going wrong with humans? I tell you. 
Getting back to the story. More than 30 academic institutions and pharmaceutical companies are collaborating in the search for vaccine under a program coordinated by the Oslo-based nonprofit group, the Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness. It's amazing what the COVID looks like under a microscope. Let me turn it around for you. I'm sure you've seen it already, but, you know. Okay, and continuing. Labs in Australia, the U.S., and the United Kingdom are already testing the first batches of vaccine candidates on animals using some prototype pathogen platforms that were developed for severe acute respiratory syndrome, that's SARS, that's ARS, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, M-E-R-S, outbreaks in 2002, 4 and 2012. However, they were ultimately not needed to treat those diseases. The Seattle-based Kaiser Permanente Washington Research Institute began human trials of a possible vaccine on March 16th, and two other research programs at the University of Queensland and Imperial College London expect to start trials on patients within weeks. You know, there's a lot of smart people out there, and with, if you all come together, like I said, the positive of all this is people are going to collaborate. People are going to, families are going to come together. Communities are going to come together. Hopefully the world comes together. This is um, a new world uh, we're looking at now, and hopefully it's going to be a better world. And it's going to be a better world if everyone beca becomes fantastic. Don't say you're good when someone says, how are you? Say you're fantastic. It makes you feel good, look great, and live longer. Uh, three of the four potential vaccines will be developed with the most promising version to be chosen for distribution. Um, now, we're not going to stop it right now, but we can contain it, and that's by staying at home and using social distancing, okay? Research efforts received a boost on March 17th, that's yesterday, when Melbourne's Peter Doherty Institute for Infection and Immunity announced it had succeeded in mapping how the body's immune system fights back against the virus. Published in the monthly peer-reviewed Nature Medicine Journal, the research revealed that the victims are recovering from the illness in the same way they would from the flu. And we want to recover from the flu or the cold? Put heat up your nose. Up your nose. This discovery is important because it is the first time where we are really understanding how our immune system fights novel cor coronavirus, said Catherine Gizelkowski, who co-authored the journal article. And if you don't want to get any diseases, buy my uh, Dr. Fantastic um, product. <laughs> it's a little early. The team tracked the recovery of a 47-year-old woman from Wuhan, the original hotspot of the virus in China, who had mild to moderate symptoms from the virus and had no pre-existing health issues. She was admitted to a hospital in Australia and fully recovered within two weeks. Good news. Kedzierska said that specific cells identified with influenza patients were spotted in her bloodstream three days before her health began to improve. We found in this patient that at three days we could see emergence of immune cells in the blood. The immune cell populations we have seen emerging before patients recover are the same cells we see in influenza. Based on our experience with patients with influenza, we could predict recovery, and that's exactly what happened in COVID-19, she said. This information will allow us to evaluate any vaccine candidate as, an ideal, as in an ideal world, the vaccine should mimic our body's immune response. Researchers are keen to isolate immune responses because these were a key factor in fighting SARS. Having blood markers will enable hospitals to screen out 20% of patients who present with more severe symptoms. Then you could say up front, this would be a severe case, or this would probably be a milder case, said Doherty researcher Caroline Van Descent. Then you could alter their cure, their care to what the patient might need. You know, I was watching these documentaries, and the people that are fighting this um, in the ICUs, it looks like they're wearing radiation suits. I mean, the two layers, and it's all oh, ridiculous. I mean, I guess they have to do this. This is some badass shit. The center has been given additional funding, some contributed by the Chinese billionaire Jack Ma, to expand the immune mapping to a bigger pool of patients, in part to monitor later phases of the recovery process. Now, there's a group out there of billionaires that are giving to Bill Gates half their fortune. Why they're not throwing money at this is beyond me. 
why human people uh, i mean the human species uh, they're not thinking properly i mean all the money in the world doesn't do you good if you're dead people we know we can generate immune responses to the virus, Kedisar said. The next question is whether the immune response gives people immunity for weeks or months or years, so we are protected. The study's findings are being shared with other research laboratories, she said. That's it. That's the morning report. Good news. Try to bring you as much good news as I can, as Dr. Fantastic, the professor of positivity, possibly and practically the most positive person on the planet. you got to think positive. Everybody, don't stress. I know it's a little stressful, but try not to be stressed. Try not to live in fear, and certainly don't panic. Uh, We've had a lot of bad uh, um, plagues and pandemics in the past. We'll get through this one. The stock market recovered a bit yesterday with the good news. Uh, I think the president's doing a fantastic job of stimulating the economy because it's tanking, and uh, nobody likes to lose their money. If you don't sell your stock, you don't lose money. It'll eventually go back up. It might take years, but it eventually always goes back up. You're in this for the long haul. This is a new world now. We're going to be kind to one another. We're going to be fantastic people. We're going to be considerate and friendly and polite. Let people in in traffic. Open doors for people. Say please and thank you. And hello back when someone says hello to you. This is the new order. We need to have civility. And to be civil is to be a fantastic person. Join the Be Fantastic movement by sending me your email. Well, if you want to be an ambassador, it's free. I've got 205 ambassadors in 41 countries. And these are people that believe in my movement, believe we need to be civil, believe we need to be kind. And I, I agree. I mean, I, I fully am dedicating my life to this. I've done a lot of things in my life, and this is the most rewarding because I'm changing people's lives. Thinking positive, manifest positive action. Thinking negative, Manifest negative action. Do not be negative. Um, anyway, in closing, practice social distancing. Hunker in place. I was going to, um, in closing, I was going to stay in my place uh, for the next week or so, but um, I'm going to hit the road. I'm going to get out of Los Angeles because I think it's going to um, be a bad place. All the big cities, I think, are a little bit dangerous right now. I don't want to be in a spot like... Um, San Francisco's in. At any rate, everybody, stay positive. I'm going to be reporting from the road, uh, and I'm going to hopefully inter- still continue to inter- uh, interview fantastic people for my fantastic interview show. Uh, my radio show yesterday is worth listening. Fred Icorn, who's got the um, the um, mineral drink, and it does work. Everybody, talk to you later. Have a fantastic day. You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic. You're a star. Overpopulated cities around the world have caused people to become a greedy, selfish, and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say, I am fantastic. It will make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic. I met Dr. Fantastic along life's way. And I heard him say, You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic.